Hey there, it's Pastor T with another Daily Psalmanac, where I hope to help you grow in the practice of prayer through a deepening relationship with the prayer book of the Bible, the Psalms. And today we are reading, reflecting upon, and praying back to the Lord, Psalm 89. We'll be reading a selection from Psalm 89. I invite you to follow along in your own Bible at home, or to listen as I read. I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. For I said, steadfast love will be built up forever. In the heavens you will establish your faithfulness. You have said, I made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. I will establish your offspring forever and build your throne for all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who among the heavenly beings is like the Lord? A God greatly to be feared in the counsel of the holy ones and awesome above all who are around him. O Lord God of hosts, who is mighty as you are, O Lord, with your faithfulness all around you. You rule the raging of the sea. When its waves rise, you still them. You crushed Rahab like a carcass. You scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. The heavens are yours. The earth also is yours. The world and all that is in it, you have founded them. The north and the south, you have created them. Tabor and Hermon joyously praise your name. You have a mighty arm, strong as your hand, high your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. Blessed are the people who know the festal shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who exult in your name all the day, and in your righteousness are exalted. For you are the glory of their strength. By your favor our horn is exalted. For our shield belongs to the Lord, our King to the Holy One of Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 89 is, first and foremost, a psalm of the promise of the coming King, of the Messiah, of David's Son. And so when we read Psalm 89, we can't help but see it as ultimately being about our Lord Jesus, the one who, it goes on to say, is going to be the firstborn of all the kings of the earth. That's who our Lord is. But what really jumps out to me about this section that we've read from Psalm 89 is toward the end in verse 15. Before I read it again for you, a question. What is it that you feel like you are surrounded by all day long? What are the things that are just your constant companion? For you, it might be the radio, which is always on, or advertising, or it might be your phone, which is that constant companion. The kinds of things that tend to be surrounding us nowadays are not necessarily the things that bring us the greatest joy. But Psalm 89 leads us to a recognition that it need not and it ought not be that way. And here's what I mean. In verse 15, it says, Blessed are the people who know the festal shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face. What if we felt instead a sense that throughout my day, I am surrounded, I am bathed in the love of the Lord, that I walk in the light of his face. What if instead of constantly carrying my devices and, and keeping the noise as my constant companion, what if instead I had this sense that it was the Lord's love that was with me everywhere, that I was walking and living in the light of his face? Would it not then also be the case as the psalm goes on, that we would be surrounded, that we would ha exalt in his name all the day long. That if we were to remember and to recall that it's his name that is imprinted upon us, that it's his light in which we live and walk, in which we live and move and have our being, as Paul says in the book of Acts, that's uh, a more enlightening, if I can put it that way, and a, a more joyous way to go in our days. What are you surrounded by? And how could you be more surrounded by the love of the Lord and those reminders that he is with you always? Let me leave you with just a couple of practical things. First of all, which I know many of you already have as your practice, rather than being surrounded by you know, news radio, what if instead you were to listen to beautiful hymnody or praise music or whatever kind of um, Christian um, uh, classical or sacred music brings you joy and uplifts you. To have that being fed into your heart and ears and mind day by day rather than the kind of stuff that's just constantly and all around us. 
That would be one thing. What are you listening to and how can it be more edifying and enriching for you? And then secondly, how about this? Um, I received this gift from a friend that, um, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's a little cross with a, uh, a well at the bottom, small well, which you can put water. And each day when we go out, you can put your finger in it and make the sign of the cross. A way that recognizing as I go out, I'm going out in the light of the Lord's face. That's just two small suggestions, but think about this. Ponder, how can I dwell in this place where I'm bathed in the love of the Lord rather than all of the, the noise and rancor and frustration that tends to be around us so that we might exult in his name all the day long. Let's pray. Blessed Lord, we thank you that you have shown your light upon us, that you, the light of your face is our constant companion. Help us, Lord, in this world where we're surrounded by so much noise and so many things that would distract us and lead us away from you. Help us to keep our heart and eyes and mind fixed on you and on your purposes for us. Bathe us this day and throughout the week in your love, O Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And now may you go forth today living in that light of the Lord and exulting in his name all the day. Go in his peace. Amen.